Mabuhai, everybody. Wednesday on the farm. Trying to give you guys an update on what's been going on. Out here at the chicken coop. Chicken on my chicks. Yeah, I lost, lost one of my raptor sweaters earlier today. Now I got another chick that's sick. This one right here. Once they get sick, I mean, their eyes puff up. It doesn't matter what kind of medicine I, I give them. None of them ever make it. They always die. It's like doxycycline, amoxicillin, all kinds of stuff. As soon as they get sick and their eyes swell up a little bit, that's it. You, you might as well, might as well kill them. Alice Wong hens looking good. Pretty girls. Yeah, we've had a lot of rain, a lot of rain lately. That might be why they're getting sick. <clears throat> So the diversion ditch, what was it, Sunday night? Yeah, Sunday night, it rained Monday, Sunday, Monday. Actually, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. But I was actually here to see where the water's flowing, and get a lay of the land. The diversion ditch is working. The water was running down that. Found a couple leaks upstairs uh, we're gonna get the roof waterproof but brought uh three more chickens over today just put them in this breeding pen here it's my raptor sweater he's going through the molt right now so he lost all his, losing all his feathers so the wall is still in position. It didn't, it hasn't moved. So we got as much rain as we got the last time it, it uh, bent. So plus the water going down the diversion ditch is helping. So no cracks, everything's looking good. Oh, it's still muddy here. Brought some uh, pens over the other day. I got them up there. Scratch pens. Three scratch pens. I had uh, two of my roosters. I brought them in because it was raining so much, and I put them put them upstairs and tied them up. And when I brought them back out, the roost pull I forgot to pound it into the ground hard and. My brass back pulled himself off the roost pole. So these two were pretty, I don't know, they're five feet apart. So he ended up going over and they got in. I don't know how long they fought, but uh, I woke up in the morning and went out there. They are both laying on the ground. I thought they were dead. They probably were fighting for hours and hours with their, their ropes. Their, their tie cords were all wound up all all their legs and, and the rope was all tied up. Yeah, he ain't looking too good. Pretty, they're both beat up. I mean, it's... He got all his feathers picked out there. I got them on antibiotics. Let's see if they this one, this one looks all right, but the brass back, he's, he's still a little bit under the weather. So, we'll see if they make it. Got in all our filters now. Man, doesn't seem to be working very good, guys. I don't know what I'm, what I'm gonna do. I'm starting to think now that, that there's no way I'll be drinking this water at all. It's just too dirty, just too dirty. I mean, it's a five micron 
No, that's a one mic. These are all one micron. So we're getting dirt in a toilet still with a one micron. So because when it rains, water is just pouring in here, and it wasn't coming from the French drain pipe. It was coming from uh, where that step is down there. There must be a natural, you know, this, this is why I picked this spot to dig the well. It's like a natural flow down there because it's, it's always wet in this one spot. And uh, boy, it was gushing in down there, right, th right, right through the block. So the water gets all muddy. I don't know, maybe it'll, maybe it'll settle down the order the well gets, I don't know. Okay, what else? Oh, yesterday we went, uh, went shopping all day. Went grocery shopping and got appliances. Show you what we got. <clears throat> That's been, what am I locked? Yeah, I gotta keep this screen locked because it's, the wind blows it open. <clears throat> we gotta dig this out more. We gotta dig a little, little septic for all the washer toilet or not the toilet washer sinks and shower water and water from the roof coming down here this is all full the other day when it was raining it was bubbling up and I had to dig this out this was flooding this corner so yeah we went to Lipa City yesterday finally Got to go shopping and get all the goodies that I like. Cause there isn't room, wasn't room in the fridge at her mom's to put stuff. Uh, uh, turn the lights on here. Oh, uh, let me show you a couple things first. See that? Washing machine is hooked up. Wife did a bleach load. Works good. So I'm happy about that. I was worried the water would be too dirty, but it must not be. Everything, <clears throat> everything came out all right. Got some, a uh, couple cases of beers. I got some Mountain Dew, some Pepsi. One thing about the Philippines I really like is you can still buy pop in glass bottles. I think it tastes so much better in glass bottles. Just some chips I got here. Settle down, you freaks. <clears throat> so the storage room is starting to get filled up already. We need to get a, I told the wife we can get a real big, one of those uh, metal racks. We can get two and we just, you know how you piece them together in steps. We can just go all the way to the ceiling. Bathroom, we got hot water, guys. I didn't know this, but this is, has a water sensor in it. I thought you turn it on when uh, you're in the shower. Actually, it's as soon as you turn the shower on. I don't like that. It turns on. So, I'll be taking a hot shower. Not hot, but they're warm. It's nice. This cable still hasn't been hooked up. We tried to do it the other day. There was four of us. And uh, we took it off the side of the wall. And we we're going to put it on, on the roof. And my nephew was holding the dish. And we got a signal down here. And the TV worked. And we're like, all right. So then we drilled holes and put the base in and then we couldn't find the signal. So I don't know what's going on. Here's the garbage of all our stuff we got. Uh, oh, I'll show you the bedroom here. Excuse the mess, still moving here. But uh, got the Fuji Denzu air conditioner. This thing will freeze you out. It's got the hot, the hot air pipe that goes out the window. And then you gotta empty the bucket every morning, but this thing works good. Like it. 
We got our end, we got end tables the other day from Lazada. So the wife put them together. Two of those. <clears throat> yeah, it's starting to feel like home. Got some, got a bunch of pictures out the other day. Got our magnets, <clears throat> our magnets on the fridge. Show you guys some of the places we've been. Maybe you guys are from some of these places. We've got a... Colorado. My wife loves to travel. So, we always gotta go somewhere once or twice a year. <clears throat> oh, I'll show you the other plants as we got. And a nice, <clears throat> nice blender. We're making banana strawberry buco shakes. And they had a combo deal, this water heater and toaster. They had a sale on it, so we got that, so it matches, matches everything. Little rice cooker. Look at this microwave. I call this thing the SpaceX microwave. <laughs> Looks like something uh, SpaceX or NASA has made. I gotta take this sticker off, but. It's a grill and a microwave. I don't know, I, I gotta read the directions, but I don't see anything. There's like, I don't know. I guess it grills from the top. I haven't really messed with it yet, but the SpaceX microwave <laughs> looks pretty cool. So you can't look inside and see your food. Uh, figured out. We got our knife set out of one of the bullet biome boxes. So that's ready to go. That's all the appliances we got. Let's show you some of the food we got. Lots of junk food, a lot of little snacks. Uh, it's my go-to, Argentina corned beef. I got some Highlands corned beef. But yeah, for when the kids come over, they like little snacks and stuff. So got the eating cheese, happy peanuts. Yeah, we spent like 600 bucks at the grocery store. <clears throat> you know, you got to get all the essentials, coffee, you know, all the, you got to get all the baking soda, cornstarch, you know, all your, all the vinegar, oil, soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, got to have the crispy fry. These are spices I brought from the U.S., some of the stuff we brought from the U.S., Yeah, more, more goodies. Chocolate chip cookies, Oreos. Got all my sauces, hot and spicy ketchup. I bought this. I like hot stuff. This is a Tabasco Sriracha. Boy, I had it with some chicken tenders for lunch. Is it good? It's really good. Yeah. UFC, sweet chili. Got a lot of drinks for the kids, these little yogurt drinks and apple juice. Ah, oh, so happy to find this stuff. Holly's Premium Farm Fresh Milk. It is so good. It's, it's almost as good as my milk back in Ohio. Not quite, but it's darn close. But I've never seen, everything here is four to five milk. That's the only, Fresh milk I found anywhere, so I drank a whole liter of it yesterday. Now the wife's got she's got uh, making cold water out there. Tostitos and some butter. Actually got some decent cheese. It's some cheddar cheese and some uh, some gouda. Some tortillas. here. Johnsonville Brock. Yeah, I always grab bees when I'm in town there. I love these things. Packs of those. I got some bread. I got three more things of tortillas in the freezer here. I got, what I get? I think 13 or 14 pounds of chicken breast. And I put them in these half 
you know, they, they weigh them up for you. So these are half kilo bags. So it's nice you just take one out and use it. And got these, these are the best chicken tenders I've ever had in my life. And they're here in the Philippines at this one store. I don't know where they get them from, but I got three big packs. They're like nine bucks, nine bucks for a, a whole pack, but they're good. I like them. That's got an alarm on here when the door's open. We got some cloud nines. Okay. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Big deal. This is a big deal. Oh, I didn't show you this. I went big on this, guys. Ugh. Big old block of mozzarella. 2.3 kilograms. I figure I'll cut this up and freeze some, but that's a lot of pizzas right there. Like a lot of pizzas with that. Yeah, it was like uh, a little over 20 bucks, but I've been, I've been waiting to buy it because uh, it wouldn't even fit in my in-law's refrigerator. Speaking of pizzas, Hey Herb, the pizza stone fits in my oven. I got that as a Christmas gift a few years back and I really like it. So I was curious if it would fit in there and it does. So we having pizza on the pizza stone. Let's see what else is going on. That's it guys. Oh, future projects. There's gonna be a lot, of more, lot more content guys. A lot more content coming. Let me show you. Out, out here, this is gonna be a porch and dirty kitchen. Dirty kitchen going along here. So this will be all roofed in. Probably go out, probably about 15 feet. So this will be a big covered area. This whole, this whole back, 15 feet. Might have a nice high ceiling here too. So this will be all covered. And out the side here. This, someday, <laughs> no time soon, this will be all, I'm gonna put in another retaining wall down there. And this will all be level and cemented and there will be a big pool right there. Boom. So, walk out the sliding glass door right to the pool and then I'll have a two like Tiki hut buildings on each side. For people to put their stuff. And then out here. Another porch. I mean another porch out here. It's gonna go from from that pillar over to here. Probably be probably out to here. So this will be a nice covered area too, pretty big. And I got a lot of, a lot of other projects I'm gonna be going. I got more chicken facilities I need to build. I'm wanting to do a tilapia pond. Um, but I'm trying to get a lay of the land and see where all this water is going. I'm trying to find the best place to put it. Yeah, it's nice being here when it rains and go outside and really see what's going on. See where the water's flowing. So, lots of projects, guys. So, there'll be plenty more content. And we still have the upstairs we got to finish. So, uh, that'll be content. The tiling and the painting. We're doing another bath. Be doing another bathroom. And... You gotta do the walk-in closet too. So. Lots of content to come, guys. Don't worry. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up. So, uh, hey, guys, give me a thumbs up. It don't cost nothing. All I gotta do is hit that button. I think I'm only get, getting like 2.4 thousand views and uh, getting like 150 thumbs up. Come on, give me a thumbs up, guys. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up. Uh, fix me something to eat. So I hope you enjoyed the video. A little shopping spree yesterday. Showed you the appliances we got. Oh, I forgot to show you this. We got Wi-Fi. 
So we'll be able to download, uh, our vi upload our videos better. So we don't have cable, but we got Wi-Fi so we can Wi-Fi stuff to the TV. So we've been watching stuff through Wi-Fi. Yeah, I can't believe just this, this tiny little box and we got, we got Wi-Fi here. So I don't know if we're in a blackout zone for Starlink, so I can research it more now that we have internet. All right, guys, wrapping it up. Give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to my voice. And we'll see ya later.